All right guys, so we're gonna install the Link EX Groove into a stock Sanwa JLF. Couple tools you need guys is your hex key. Uh, I would recommend getting a small flathead screwdriver and a small pair of pliers uh, to remove the E-clip. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is set up your ball top on top of the EX Groove. So very simply put on the, actually if you wanna put the dust cover on first, that's a, probably a good idea because uh, it'll be tough to kinda of get this on you know, with the ball top in the way. So literally just screw it down, okay? Finger tighten it until you get to the base, just like that. And then you wanna take your hex key right over here. Um, I like to use the long side down and just pop that in there and give it a nice tighten and turn and that literally will lock it down and this ain't gonna go anywhere. Okay, so now that we have that set up, I would recommend actually popping this whole thing into the base. So you want to actuate the collar and pop it in the base. And now you have this guy ready to be installed. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the E-clip. Now guys, this is spring loaded. So kind of keep this close by. You want to just use your uh, flathead screwdriver and pry the E-clip out of the way. Let me do that really quick. You see that there it's coming up. The minute that it starts coming up like that, I recommend just pushing down on the actuator and removing the e-clip just like that. So you'll see that because of the spring, the actuator is coming out, okay? So I'm actually gonna disassemble everything. So if you guys get stuck, you guys know how to reassemble everything. So this is the actuator. Remember, e-clip holds the actuator. The spring is next, just like that, okay? And then inside, you'll actually see uh, the black base. So you, you'll see that right over there. You see that little base? That's what holds the whole spring mechanism. And all you have to do is slide out the original shaft, uh, ball top, everything that comes with it. The one thing you do need to retain is this guy right over here, which is the bushing for the joystick. Okay, so now that I have everything apart, you want to take your link, EX groove, and with the round side facing down, you wanna pop the bushing onto the bottom of that. You thread it through. Remember, you do have that base inside there. You see that there? You want to thread this whole thing through, through the base. And then everything just comes together backwards. So spring, right? And the actuator on top of the spring, just like that. And then you have your E-clip right over here. So again, this is the hardest part, guys. So you want to pop the uh, E-clip on the little groove, just like that. You see how it's just kind of hanging on there? I have it hooked on the groove. You can use your hand if you want, but I find it a lot easier to just use like a small set of pliers. And uh, you know, you wanna push it from the edge of the, of the base and then the edge of the E-clip, and then you just wanna slowly pop it in just like that. Boom. So now we have this guy fully installed into a Sanwa JLF. Remember, all you have to do is take it apart just like that to pop it back in and you're good to go.